all right, aren't you? Hey, everyone's worried about you. All excited to see me, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you were. <laughs> Calm down now, aren't you? Yeah, so Tara's all right. She's, I think the medications are helping. And uh, she's not really had any occurrence of, uh, of any problems, have you? Hey? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's a good bit of news. Yeah. So I'm just, uh, um, just with her brother-in-law and uh, just popping in to her sisters. See what's, pick up a couple of things and see how Tara is. And you can see, she's fine. Can't see anything now, T. Right. So welcome to this uh, little update video. And uh, later on in the video, I'll be giving people a chance to win three pairs of tickets to the caravan camping and motorhome show at the NEC this February. And uh, that will be coming up a little bit later. Right, I've just been uh, to my sister's in Crosby to pick up some stuff. We lent them Poppy's, Poppy's crate when she had to go for a for ta when Tara had to go for a MRI and uh, just been to pick that up so I'm now on my way up to Leyland Beware. watch your speed I'm now on my way up to Leyland uh, to pick up the motorhome uh, hopefully we've uh, got the repair done and hopefully it be to our satisfaction this time and uh, so a little bit nervous about that uh, but I'm sure they've done a good job but the weather out here is absolutely atrocious. It's sort of, it's sleeting here. And I think, I think it's actually snowing in Preston. So, um, not going to be a particularly brilliant journey. But anyway, I'm pleased that Tara's all right. You will see um, from the bit of video I'm going to do, or I've done, always get this time problem mixed up. But, uh, she is very well, Tara, now. She seems back to normal. They've actually got her on a drug called gabapentin, but they've only been given a half a tablet a day. Now, they've had the report back from the vet, and the vet said that half a, half a tablet's not going to do anything and make any difference, and he suggested putting up to three halves of gabapentin a day, whatever, whatever that is. But if she's all right at the moment on, on something that's not doing anything, then she's probably all right anyway. So they don't really know what's wrong with her. Uh, they know that she could have this condition, syringomyelia, um, but they're not really sure. Uh, the trouble is, pets can't tell you what's, where it hurts or what caused it. But she hasn't had a recurrence of, of a pain since, since they, they took her to the vets originally. So goodness knows what it is. But anyway, the good news is she seems alright at the moment. Uh, she seems back to her old self, bouncing about all over us. So anyway, stop rambling on. I'm just going to get on with the rest of this journey and uh, I'll catch up with you a little bit later. And as you can see, the weather is truly awful. Sort of one and a half degrees. And it's sleeting, turning to snow. In 170 yards, take the second exit from the roundabout onto Comet Road. In 130 yards, turn left into your designated road, Clydesdale Place. Now turn left. You have arrived at your designated road. Because wow. the door frame was cracked here. Wow. So I thought the door frame. Right. Okay, just having a look. <laughs> well, I think we, we thought it might need that anyway. Yeah, that's nice. It's looking good. It does look good. 
Well, that's written in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a bit white, this bit, isn't it? But uh, it can't help there. That's broken. Yeah, it's nice, oh, beautiful. Right, we're off. And they replaced the door frame on the on the door. It's obviously going to cost the insurance company a bit more. But when they when he took off the the bolt, and discover that the thing had been cracked. The door frame was cracked anyway. So I had to replace that. It looks like a good repair. Right, it's so good to have the van back. I really missed uh, having the van on the drive and uh, seemed a bit lonely without it. And it looks like they've done a good job on the door, so I'm really pleased about that. They've changed the actual door frame around it and uh, they've, they've sealed it very nicely around there and obviously they've had to have the, the door off its hinges and so it looked like quite a big job I think they only found out that the uh, the door frame had uh, was broken once once they took all the all the sealants on that the previous chap had done uh, so anyway so it was a good job from one call so thanks for that and uh, it's a uh, it's a big relief so you're all asking competition get on with the competition okay so here, here's the here's a competition so three people will each win a pair of tickets for the caravan camping and motorhome show at the NEC Birmingham from the 19th to the 24th of February 2019 I'll select the first three correct answers that appear in this premier live chat window and I'll announce the three winners in the premier live chat so if you're one of the three winners, you'll need to contact me by Facebook Messenger or perhaps Twitter so I can pass on your details and then you'll be instructed on how to collect the tickets from the NEC. So you've got to be able you've got to be available to, to collect those tickets on one of the days from the 19th to the 24th of February. So the question. The question is, in our Bailey Motorhome City Tour. How many miles did I say were on the clock when we picked the Bailey up? So I'll say the question again. In our Bailey Motorhome City Tour, how many miles did I say were on the clock when we picked the Bailey up? So that's the end of this video. I uh, hope uh, you get you get the, the answers and I hope you win the tickets. Um, if you like the video give us a thumbs up, remember to subscribe and we'll catch up with you later. Now I'm going to leave the music running for a little bit because this is uh, going to be a premiere video. As soon as you end the video uh, it will it will cut off the live chat. So I'm going to put some music on there so it will allow us to carry on a live chat for a little bit longer. So I'll see you later then. <laughs>